Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh, now then, I am taking everyone by surprise because, well, it is 11 o'clock now. Normally, we start with a piece of music while I put out all these little figures on the altar to show that we're not alone, that there are other people um, watching on Facebook land. So, hello, everyone, on Facebook land. Yeah, I'm sure they're waving. Let's just check that they are there. Are you there? Oh, yes. We've got, we've got people watching. Yeah. But this morning, we're going to start with a song that's got some actions. And we've got some children and grown-ups who uh, I'm sure you'll be wanting to do some actions today. Are you wanting to do some actions? Yeah. Brilliant. Right, well, this song... Um, you'll, you'll have to watch me with the actions because there's a time to walk. Oh, I'll move over here. No. There's a time to walk and a time to run. A time to get my homework done and all those different things. So we'll do, we'll do the actions to the song. So if you feel like standing up, I'll be watching for the children joining in. I'm just going to click it forward. Sally. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. All right, we'll take it back. It will. One click forward. That's backwards. Forward. One more.
wonderful. Well done. Sit down. <laughs> and um, if you've just uh, come in, welcome. You're probably thinking, what on earth have we come into? But uh, every week is a little bit different at the Church of the Resurrection. Um, this is our all-age service. I'm Reverend Austin, um, and um, we will be introducing other people during this service. Um, and this is the Church of the Resurrection, and you can't have church without notices. So, all age uh, communion today will be receiving the bread and the wine. Um, and then at 12 noon, or thereabouts, we will have refreshments in the, um, the church hall. Um, and we will also, if um, this will probably be the last week for Zoom at noon. So some people have been wanting to join in with Zoom at noon, um, but we will, um, unless you say, we want Zoom at noon, and that's the people who are watching by Zoom, um, then, um, then we're probably going to be calling that, that down. So tonight we have our youth group for 10 to 14 year olds. We have Hardcore, and that is in church. If you're interested and you've never been, then do speak to me or Jenny, who's at the back, who's waving there. Um, and it's uh, a good, safe um, time together. Please do see your notice sheets um, for all the regular groups. Um, Mondays, uh, 9 till 12, we have this church open for people to come in if they want. Wednesday morning, um, weekday morning prayer and night prayer. Morning prayer is 9 o'clock and night prayer is 9.30, and that's on Zoom if you want information for an invite, please email me. Ladies Bible study group on Zoom this Wednesday, yes. Um, if you want more information, speak to uh, Sally, who's um, operating the mouse at the back. Um, Saturday the 25th of September at 6pm, we have a film night here in church, and it's Victoria and Abdul. <gasps> I've just told everyone, I shouldn't tell everyone because we're not allowed to broadcast these sort of things. Okay, forget that you heard that. It, we're not allowed by our licence to tell people what films that we're watching like Victoria and Abdul. Oh no, said it again. Okay, and what? what? <laughs> Jenny's going... I didn't understand a word of that. So, oh, you haven't renewed the license yet. Okay, well, you've got till the 25th. Okay. If you're interested in having COVID test kits, um, then we have some free COVID, COVID, test, COVID test kits for you to take away. That's enough in there for you for a month worth of tests. Um, please do take a box. The quiz night. We've, if you like quizzes and you can get together and a team of eight, um, then um, we've got a quiz night on the 2nd of October um, with um, a, a buffet meal. Um, bring your own drinks, but it is £10. Um, so uh, that is a real worthwhile ticket for a great quiz. And see Rita um, for those tickets. It's going to be really great. Now, I know that last week... There we go. Last week we had a, a few birthdays, but um, one in particular to, uh, to sing to is little Sophie. Um, and uh, we'll be coming back now that we've got um, uh, Junior Church back on. But um, Sophie, um, we're going to sing happy birthday to Sophie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sophie. Happy birthday to you. Hey! Sophie's not here today, but I'm sure she will see that. So um, that was one of the birthdays. We're going to spend a little bit of time uh, of, you know, the song said, there's a time to make noise, but there's a time to go. And so we're going to spend a little bit of time being quiet as we get ready to hear from God. And when the words are in yellow, that's for us all to join in with. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O oh Lord, open our eyes, that we may behold your presence. O oh Lord, 
Open our ears. We may hear your call. O Lord, open our hearts. That we may respond to your love. O Lord, open our lives. That we may rejoice in your creation. Well, we've got a song. You've got your instruments. This is a song about um, being forgiven for all the things that we've done wrong. And we are a new creation, something new. So um, if you want to sing along, we encourage uh, you to wear your masks, but you're allowed to sing along as we sing, I am a new creation. I am a new creation, no more in consolation. you to guess who I am talking about, okay? This person. He has two ears. Can you guess it yet? Dumbo. Well, it's not Van Gogh. <laughs> yeah, okay, Dumbo. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Um, uh, he has two eyes. Can you guess it yet? He, he has a nose as well. And it's not me, okay? Um, right, so um, uh, n more clues that will help you. Um, this person is, uh, is quite round. Uh, yeah, no, it's not me. Okay. Uh, um, any guesses yet? Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty? No, not Humpty Dumpty. Um, okay, this person... Um, ooh. This person has lots of friends. Oh. No, it's not. Nice try. Um, this person um, lives in a wood. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! This person um, likes eating honey. Winnie the Pooh! Oh, here we go. And just to prove it, it is Winnie the Pooh. Here we go. I could have said, this person likes to wear a red t-shirt. Here we go. We've got Winnie the Pooh. So, hey! Oh, Leo, you can go, hooray, now! <laughs> oh, he hasn't obviously read the script. Here we go. Hey! So, Winnie the Pooh, and I'm going to sit Winnie the Pooh here. Um, now... There's lots of things I could have said about Winnie the Pooh to describe. I could have said um, he likes red balloons. Um, he goes for walks with his friend Piglet and Tigger. Um, and all the different things that he likes to do. Um, but you have guessed with just a few clues. 
Now Jesus said to his friends, who do the people say that I am? And some people thought that Jesus um, was um, someone come back from the dead, um, one of the prophets. Some people said he was um, a great teacher. Some people uh, had other ideas. So Jesus said to his disciples, his friends, who do you say I am? How would you describe me? Maybe a different way of putting that question. Who do you say I am? And Peter, one of his best friends, said, with his mouth, he said, you are the son of God. Um, and so Jesus said, those words are correct. Well done. So how do we describe Jesus to other people? Or how do we show Jesus to people in our lives? Maybe we can use our mouths, our tongues and say, Jesus is great. Jesus is brilliant. He's, he, he helped create the world. He taught, teaches people how to live. He helps me to live for God. Or we can describe the stories about him. But let's use our mouths and our actions to describe Jesus to other people. But there are times when we don't want to tell people about Jesus. Or when we live in a way that people think, well you're nothing like Jesus, he wouldn't do that. So we say sorry for those times. Lord, forgive us when we put our own wants first. Jesus, lead us into life. Lord, forgive us when we choose to do wrong. Jesus, lead us into life. Lord, forgive us when we treat others badly. Jesus, lead us into life. Lord, forgive us when we forget those in need. Jesus, lead us into life. Lord, set us free from sin and teach us to serve you. Jesus, lead us into life. Amen. And may the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins, and assure us of his eternal love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray together our theme prayer. Lord God, defend your church from all false teaching and give to your people knowledge of your truth that we may enjoy eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now we have uh, young people part of our um, uh, youth group who go to a different church um, and we've got, uh, first of all, we've got uh, Hannah bringing our first reading to us. And I'm just going to move the microphone over here. That makes it good and clear. Okay, one more click. The first reading is from James chapter 3, clicking. verses 1 to 12. My friends, not many of you should become teachers. As you know, we teachers will be judged with greater strictness than others. All of us often make mistakes, but if a person never makes a mistake in what he says, he is perfect and is also able to control his whole being. We put a bit into the mouth of a horse to make it obey us, and we are able to make it go where we want. Or think of a ship, as big as it is and driven by such strong winds, it can be steered by a very small rudder, and it goes wherever the pilot wants it to go. So it is with the town. Smaller as it is, it can boast about great things. Just think how large a forest can be set on fire by a tiny flame. And the tongue is like a fire. It is a world of wrong, occupying its place in our bodies, and spreading evil through our whole being. It sets on fire the entire course of our existence. But the fire that comes to it from hell itself. We humans are able to tame and have tamed all other creatures, wild animals and birds, reptiles and fish. But no one has ever been able to tame the tongue. It is evil and uncontrollable, full of deadly poison. We use it to give thanks to our Lord and Father and also to curse other people who are created in the likeness of God. Words of thanksgiving and cursing pour out from the same mouth. My friends, this should not happen. No spring of water pours out sweet water and bitter water from the same, same opening. A fig tree, my friends,
Thank you so much, Hannah. Um, we know that there are times when we say things wrong and we have to say sorry to God. Um, and so we've got this next song, which we can remain seated, but there, are, there is sign language if you wish to join in. It's, Lord, we're sorry for the wrong things we have done. So join, join in with me with the actions. So we'll click. We're going to have our gospel reading brought to us by Zoe. Oh, it's because I've turned it all down, not all the way up. Okay, we take it back to the beginning, my fault. Jesus 
Ah, oh, thank you so much uh, Zoe and Hannah for doing those readings. Now, I've got another friend with me, not just Winnie the Pooh. Uh, would you like to meet my other friend? Yeah, yeah you're right Ian. It's my dog Difa. So Difa, are you coming to say hello to everyone? Oh, hello. <laughs> so, my name's Difa. Yeah, this is Difa. Difa dog. So, um, and yes, I'm going to get all your white hair all over my, uh, my black uh, waistcoat. Oh, that's okay. It'll help you remember me. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, well, yes, I always remember you, Difa. So, we are going to be talking about something really scary and dangerous today. Oh. How is it a puppy? Yeah, is it, is it a lion? No. Is it a tiger? No. I'll tell you what it is. Is it a bear? No. What is it? People. People! Well, do you know what? You're, you're quite right. Um, people are pretty scary and pretty dangerous at times. Um, but there's a certain part of um, people that is particularly um, scary. Um, can you guess what it is, Difa? Um, your face. No. No. Not my face. I, I, I will show you. I will show you. Mmm. Mmm. How rude. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's, the, it's the tongue. Ugh. What's so dangerous? What's so dangerous about the tongue? Well, I mean, what do you use your tongue for, Deetha? Well, sometimes I lick my feet. Yeah, okay, he licks his feet. Okay. Sometimes I lick people's faces. Oh, right, yeah, okay, he's licking people's faces. Okay, that's, uh, get off. Ah, Sometimes I lick my bottom. Oh, 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 and you just licked my face with that same tongue. Oh, that's not nice. You shouldn't tell people that. Well, um, and what else do you use your uh, tongue for? For, for uh, eating my food. No, 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 and drinking water. Yeah, so the tongue, it can be used for lots of different things. Um, but in the letter that we heard first today, written probably by um, Jesus' brother, James, he said the tongue can be very dangerous. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> it can, because the tongue, even though it's small, can start some big things happening. How do you mean? Well, um, 
a tongue can be like um, a spark of fire that starts a whole forest burning. Oh no! A forest burning! Yeah, Where will I go to the toilet then? Oh no, 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 no. Diva, no. So um, you only need a little spark of fire and, and then something big starts. Oh, that's terrible. I shall never say anything again. Oh, no, no. Um, and sometimes we can tell a lie. It might be a small lie, um, and then it spreads. And spreads. And spreads. And then, oh, it all goes wrong. Oh, and everyone is hurt by that small lie. So we've got to be careful with what we say, because our tongues can be a terrible weapon. Can they help fix things too? Well, tongues can help fix things. With our tongues, we can say nice things about people. We can say, um, uh, I like your white hair. I like your white hair too. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, we can say nice things to people. Um, we can say um, uh, caring things like, I forgive you, or I'm sorry. So the tongue can actually make things better. Oh, oh, oh. What? Oh, maybe if someone says sorry, then someone else will say sorry, and then the whole world will be saying sorry, and maybe we'll have peace in the world. Well, maybe. Wouldn't that be an amazing thing for everyone to say sorry and for there to be peace in the world? We can, with our tongues, we can praise God and sing beautiful hymns. But sometimes we go out from church and then we say something mean about someone. How can the same tongue be used for saying nice things and then saying cruel things that hurt? Um, James said, can salty water and fresh water come from the same stream? Can it? Well, no, I don't think it can. Well, I'd still like to drink it. Well, you wouldn't want to drink it if it was salty water. Oh no, make me sick. <clears throat> no. So, so we can't, we shouldn't be saying really lovely things and then really nasty things. So does that mean we have to be kind all the time and say really nice and gentle things? Hmm. Do we always have to be kind and always say really gentle things? The second reading. That, well, what, what do you think? Yes. Yes, well, yes, we yeah. should always be kind and saying gentle things. But, but do you know what happened in the second reading? Hmm. Was that when Jesus, he'd said something really nice to Peter. And then later on, he said, get behind me, Satan. Get behind me, devil. Yeah, Jesus said something that was pretty shocking to, uh, to Peter. And that means that Jesus' mouth was used for kind words, but also something that was really strict. Hmm. Sometimes we have to say words that are strict, that other people might say, oh, that's not fair. But if someone is, I mean, I, I didn't know how close I was getting to the candle in the first action song. Someone might have shouted out, Get away from the candle! And I might have gone, hoo, hoo. But actually that would have saved me from knocking over the candle. So sometimes our tongues have to say things quite strict and to direct people, to warn people. If we said, oh, you look really nice standing next to that candle. You'll look even nicer when it's, you know, knocked over. You know, that's not going to work, is it? No. So we have to say kind things and sometimes strict things. We do. And we just have to pray to God to help us to know the difference between saying kind, encouraging things and when to say the strict things. We have to pray, but we have to think. And if you think about the word think, it will help us work out what to say and when. Because the T for think 
Is it true what you're going to say? True. Yeah. Is it helpful what you're going to say? It would have been helpful to sort of know I was getting close to the candle. So is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Does it help someone to grow and do something new? Even if you're being strict, you might be uh, giving, you inspiring them to better things. So is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Do you really have to say what you are going to say? Maybe not. Maybe you really don't have to say it then. And maybe the last word for K, what do you think? Are our words, what word begins with K? Yeah, kind, well done. So all our different words for using our tongue, our tongue can cause lots of damage, but our tongue can cause a lot of healing and maybe it will help there to be peace in the world. And I pray that it will be. So shall we say amen, Deepa? Amen. Amen. And you'll be able to see Deepa after the service. See you. So let's think about uh, what we believe. And if you feel comfortable to stand, please stand as we share what we believe. We say all together, we believe in God who made the sun and the sky, the stars and the sea, who calls us to live responsibly. We believe in Jesus Christ who became human, who healed the sick, who talked to children, who made friends with sinners, he burned brightly and offended many. His journey was one of death and resurrection. His light continues to shine in the darkness. We believe in the Holy Spirit who inspires the scriptures and whose breath we breathe. We believe that God calls us to be a community committed to one another, offering a welcome to everyone, old and young, rich and poor, strong and weak. We believe that God calls us to be peacemakers workers for justice, brothers and sisters, a light in our world. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for our prayers, which are recorded for us today by Jasmine. I'll make sure I've turned it up this time. <coughs> Let us pray to God about how we speak to each other. We might say nice things to our friends, but not to the people we don't know. Please God, help us to say nice things, and if we can't say anything nice, then help us to say nothing at all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Wars can happen because the wrong words are said, or we wouldn't really listen. Please God, help the people who try to make peace. Please give them the right words and actions which people can understand. Please protect them from being hurt. By people who are only want war. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Good words can heal people and encourage them to help others. Good words can make the world a better place. Please, God, help us to help us to make the world a better place by our own words and actions. And we pray for people who can't endure us. Please help them needs to be understood so that nobody is left out. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I invite you now to stand as we share the peace uh, together. <clears throat> Christ came and proclaimed the gospel. Peace to those who are far off and peace to those who are near. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Uh, we still can't um, uh, shake hands, but we can wave and, and wish God's peace upon everyone that we see. Peace be with you.
And we can even wave out the windows as high as they are because we're wishing peace and God's love to everyone in the community and everyone in Facebook as well. So we're now going to, um, uh, if you wish to remain standing, sing our next uh, hymn, which is Leaders, Heavenly Father Leaders, Over the World's Tempestuous Sea. Please be seated. <laughs> so, we don't have a collection at the moment, but we do have the, uh, the jar down bar. <laughs> and if you wish to uh, give any money on the way out um, of the uh, the service at the end of the service, then um, you're very welcome to uh, uh, to support us in that way. Also, we have refreshments after the service too. And if you wish to give in that way, then please uh, do support in whatever way you can. And our offering prayer: Though many, we form one body in Christ. We belong to one another. By God's grace, we have different gifts. We will use them in faith. The Lord is here. The Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Lord of all life, you created the universe where all living things reflect your glory. You give us this great and beautiful earth to discover and to cherish. You give us your love, even when things go wrong. Jesus knew hurt and pain. Through him you wipe away our tears and fill us with your peace. You made us all, each wonderfully different, to join with the angels and to sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Holy, holy, We thank you, loving Father, because when we turned away, you sent Jesus, your Son. He gave his life for us on the cross and shows us the way to live. 
send your Holy Spirit that these gifts of bread and wine may be for us Christ's body and his blood. On the night before he died, when darkness had fallen, Jesus took bread. He gave thanks and broke it and shared it with his disciples saying, this is my body given for you. After they had eaten, he took the cup of wine, gave thanks and shared it with his disciples saying, this is my blood poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this to remember me. So, Father, with this bread and this cup, we celebrate his love, his death, his risen life. And as you feed us with these gifts, send your Holy Spirit and change us more and more to be like Jesus, our Saviour. Help us, Father, to love one another as we look forward to that day when suffering is ended and all creation is gathered in your loving arms. And now, with all your saints, we give you glory through Jesus Christ in the strength of the Spirit. And as Jesus, our Saviour, taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are all one body, because we all share in one bread. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith, with thanksgiving. Jesus, we come to this, your table, not because we are strong, but because we are weak, not because of any goodness of our own gives us the right to come, but because we need your mercy and your help, not because of anything we have achieved, but because you love us and you died for us. Glory be to you, our living Saviour and Lord. Amen. So if you've never been here to our service before, we have our, and you've received communion in another church before, we have our pots uh, with the wafers in and uh, I invite us to share those together. If you haven't got one and you wish you had, are you okay? That's fine. And so, the body of Christ, keep us in eternal life. Amen. And we now have Sally and Sally and Sue coming to uh, hand around the uh, communion wine. If you wish to receive, please stand. Um, if you wish not to receive, just stay uh, seated in prayer. And we will all drink together.
the blood of Christ. Keep us in eternal life. Amen. And for all those who are unable to receive the wine at this time at home or here, the blessing of God Almighty be upon you now and forever. Amen. Please be seated as we say our prayer after communion. We pray together. Keep, O Lord, your church with your perpetual mercy. And because without you our human frailty cannot but fall, keep us ever by your help from all things hurtful and lead us to all things profitable to our salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Amen. <laughs> and so we, I invite us to stand because we can't sing this last uh, hymn uh, whilst not standing because we are going to sing We Are Marching in the Light of God. If you have instruments, please do make a big noise um, because we are worshipping God. And, uh, and refreshments will be after the service. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching We are marching, we are marching over, we are marching in the light of God. We are loving in the love of God. We are living in the love of God. We are living in the love of God. We are living in the love of God. So, who's feeling hungry? Yeah, well, we have some uh, biscuits. Are you feeling hungry? Yeah, we've got some biscuits coming soon. Yeah, biscuits. Here we go. So, we'll just have our final blessing. May the Father, from whom every family in earth and heaven receives its name, strengthen us with his spirit in our inner being so that Christ may dwell in our hearts through faith. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us and all those we love and pray for, this day and forevermore. Amen. Well done. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for coming and joining in. You've all been fantastic and have a wonderful week and we look forward to seeing you all again soon. And there's refreshments and there's the jar down bar. <laughs> and oh yes, Ian wants to see um, uh, Deepa, I know. <laughs>
time to pray, a time to read God's word each day, a time to serve and a time to praise, a time for everything. There's a time to walk and a time to run, a time to get my homework done, a time to sit and a time to play, and then there's just those times when I want to go. Just those 